Hey guys, it's Connor from Dragon Rider Network, and I'm here doing a bit of a technology update video about the Verizon event that just happened today, and which ended about one hour ago. This event was to hold one event, and one event only in high standing, the iPhone finally coming over to the Verizon Network. Now, a few spectators have actually wondered if the iPhone coming over to Verizon would actually be a big deal compared to AT&T or even hurt them. And in this video, I'm going to explain some of the benefits of the iPhone coming over to Verizon and some of the downfalls it may have for other companies, or in this case, even Verizon. So come with me now as I go in depth about what I think is to come with the brand new iPhone 4 on Verizon. Now, of course, the main worry about the iPhone coming on Verizon is the competition now with AT&T. Now, a lot of people have blown this competition between AT&T and Verizon over the iPhone way out of proportion from time to time. It is nowhere going to be close as to whether this is going to create problems for AT&T or not. It really is not going to create any problems primarily because the people who just bought an iPhone 4 are now on AT&T's contract for another year and a half. And for the people who aren't on the current AT&T plan but still own an iPhone on AT&T are most likely going to end up sticking with AT&T. Also, for AT&T, they actually have something over Verizon when it comes to the iPhone. Data and voice at the same time coming over the iPhone's network, only on AT&T. Now for me, this is primarily a big deal because I do a lot of talking, and when I want to talk to someone, I typically also want to pull something up at the same time if I want to talk to them about something I'm viewing on the internet or movie tickets or the news. But for the other people, I sort of have an understanding of where you're coming from when you don't want data and voice, and it kind of goes, like, maybe you think... And that's pretty much what I think. Another issue that could be really problematic for the Verizon community is all this data coming over on the iPhone, which is which used to bear hard on AT&T's network, which will now be coming over to Verizon. When the iPhone came over, that all changed because so many people were then downloading data to the one device tens of millions of times over. For at I mean for Verizon this time, now it looks to be their turn to get some of the bad publicity that AT&T has actually received over the last few years. And this time, it will actually create much more of an ease on use for AT&T now saying that less and less people who own an iPhone will now be going over to Verizon. They will now have time to fix up their network in order to bring on more iPhone customers once again. However, it's not all bad when it comes down to Verizon's network, because now it looks like they may have a chance of incorporating the new LTE network into the fifth iPhone edition. This could be a bit of a chance for Verizon in order to get some of the great publicity that they can for their new iPhone, is to bring it on to the LTE network going into the summer of 2011. And finally, another problem that the iPhone could cause, well, not really for the iPhone itself, but for other devices, particularly the ones running the Android operating system. Because Android has always been the excuse of going over to a smartphone, but not having to go over to the iPhone on AT&T. Now, the people who own an iPhone and want to go over to Verizon, now have that opportunity. 
and the people who thought about getting an Android device but now want an iPhone will now be able to go on to Verizon all at the same time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel for a future giveaway that I will be holding. Uh, by the time we get to 300 subscribers on the channel, I will announce the details of the giveaway. Also, follow me on Twitter for exclusive content on what's going on between the iPhone 4 and Verizon A and AT&T. Follow me at twitter.com slash thedragonrider. And be sure to check out the website slash tech blog dragonridernetwork.com. Links will be in the description below. I hope to see you guys soon, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.